NFL caught stealing $89 million from military and cancer victims and gave to racists for foul reason. The more the NFL tries to dig itself out of the mess it got into with patriotic America-loving fans, the more they land back flat on their idiotic rear ends. And this time they have really gone too far. This time in an effort to put an end to the ungrateful ball-tossing millionaire protests during the national anthem. Roughly 40 ball tossers have negotiated with the NFL a proposed partnering to effect so-called social justice change. According to the leftist propaganda machine that is ESPN, the league has now agreed with players to donate $89 million to causes considered important to African American communities. But in order to do this, they have to reroute money from funds destined for breast cancer research and military charities. Really? Now you will pay these scumbags to stand? How will $100 million make the fathers of the 78% of black babies born to fatherless households take responsibility? The NFL and a group of players reached an agreement in principle late Wednesday night to partner on a plan to address social justice issues considered important to African American communities, sources told ESPN. The unprecedented agreement calls for the league to contribute $89 million over seven years to projects dealing with criminal justice reform, law enforcement, community relations and education. During a conference call Wednesday night, Malcolm Jenkins and Anklin Bolden, who lead roughly 40 players who have negotiated with the league office about demonstrations during the national anthem, guided the group through the highlights of the package which represents the NFL's largest contribution to a social issue, surpassing that of salute to service or breast cancer awareness, crucial catch. The partnership came a day after some players broke away from the players' coalition because of their dissatisfaction with how Jenkins and Bolden have handled negotiations. Commissioner Roger Goodell, believing that an agreement was at hand, was furious when ESPN reported that players were breaking off, according to one source. But during an afternoon call, Jenkins asked that the commissioner and the owners continue to stand with the players and allow them to do important work in the community. The agreement does not include language calling for players to end protests during the national anthem in exchange for funds, there's no implicit quid pro quo. But the NFL hopes this effort will effectively end the peaceful yet controversial movement that former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick started in 2016, when he refused to stand for the anthem. Under the league's proposal, the $89 million has been earmarked over a seven-year period for both national and local projects. On the national level, owners this year will allocate $5 million with their commitment growing annually and maxing out at $12 million per year from 2021 through 2023. At the local level, owners would put up $250,000 annually and expect players to match that amount, totaling $500,000 for each team. Players and owners can exceed that amount if they choose, with no matching requirement. In addition, there would be other fundraising opportunities, including telethons and auctions of jerseys worn in games. The $73 million in national funding has been vetted and approved, a league source said. However, the owners must vote on the matching funds component on the local level and will do so at their March meetings. For months, Goodell and Shroy Vincent, the league's executive vice president of football operations, strive to find common ground with players who took a knee and raised fists in an effort to shine a light on racial injustice. The owners whom Goodell and Vincent serve could have attempted to push through new rules regarding the anthem in the NFL game operations manual during off-season committee meetings. However, for Goodell and Vincent, trying to force players to stand for the anthem, which would have undoubtedly triggered a fierce battle with the NFL Players Association, wasn't a fight worth having. League sources also said Goodell, in particular, believes that fighting for social justice is the right thing to do, which factored into the decision to place no anthem attachments on the partnership. Players came to the table in a rare position of power for them, because many fans have cited protests as the main reason they've tuned out the NFL over the past two seasons. Concerned about ongoing fan backlash and the angst of the league's corporate partners, Goodell pushed hard to establish the framework of a deal before next week's league meeting in Dallas.
the agreement calls for national funds to be allocated accordingly, 25% to the United Negro College Fund, 25% to Dream Corps, and 50% to the Players Coalition, which has filed 501c, 3, and 501c, 4, paperwork for nonprofit status as a fiscally sponsored project. This week, the coalition hired the Hope Well Fund to oversee and advise the group, which hopes to work with grassroots and nonprofit organizations. The only reason all this mess even started, to begin with, was that Colin Kaepernick began kneeling because he was for all intents and purposes, on his way out of the NFL. He was very aware of this fact so his Muslim girlfriend, who has deep ties to Islamic extremism, convinced him to pull a stunt like this. He never had an issue with any so-called cop brutality and he never hated our flag while he was actually still an active player for the San Francisco 49ers. The bottom line here is that no matter what narrative the left-wing media tries to spin to explain the NFL's sagging ratings, people as a whole don't agree at all with what these spoiled players or the NFL are doing. ESPN has gone as far as calling this drop in numbers NFL fatigue. But if that was indeed the case then NFL stadiums wouldn't be half, or more, empty while college football stadiums are practically full and have not suffered any decline whatsoever in viewership or attendance. In fact, most NCAA game ratings have actually skyrocketed during this season, this season.